Super, we are live. Um, Salams to everyone who's watching. This is uh, live and direct from the SGR train station. Hence the noise and the life happening around mm. me. But welcome to this evening's q and I am your moderator. My name is Wanderi Kukuru. I am the partnerships director of Rogue Film Society. I'm also a writer, journalist, and filmmaker. Tonight we shall be speaking to Remy. Give me your side. Mugabe. I'm, I'm Remy <laughs> Jumugabe, the director of Menomo <laughs> Yes, who I'll be referring to as Remy Sadon Masaka Hisani. He's a Rwandan filmmaker and visual artist. His works have been spilled all over the world, including festivals in Switzerland, Sweden, and France, among others. He's also the co founder of Kirumi MFN, an independent production company based in Kigali. He's also the co initiator and curator of 250 Film Experiment Scientific Cine Club, one of the two. And uh, we're very happy to be speaking to him. Mm -hmm. I think uh, so my there. first question is about your main character. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. can you hear me? Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah. Super. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, that uh, your film is in a block titled "Where We Are." It's in Mm -hmm. I'm losing you. And it makes sense because the title of the film is from the. Yes. You can hear me? Can you hear me, Remy? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So, okay. So the main character of your film seems to be stuck, right? And it kind of makes mm -hmm. sense because the film's title is from the Greek Titan for memory. And he mm -hmm. seems to be trying to understand, maybe even undo certain moments that he's experienced. So I'm wondering, mm -hmm. why is he stuck? Is it that there's too much to unpack in the past, or is he too scared to move forward? Uh, uh, so I think uh, he's stuck because uh, because uh, before meeting the, the the girl, he was somehow lost, and when he met this girl. The, the life was beginning to to change and suddenly the uh the, the girl passed away so he stuck about his he stuck because he's he's thinking how to 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 commemorate to commemorate the girl but he, he has also he has the, the the feeling of that 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 life with the girl was like short-lived so he was trying to to see if he can like commemorate or uh, celebrate uh, the short life he lived with that girl or just mm -hmm. if he's going to go back to where he was before he met the girl mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so when the film starts there is um i love the image it's very frenetic it's a very sort of distortion i really love all mm -hmm. the images so tell me about collecting those little vignettes that formed basically the film so the film for me is like a series of vignettes and then with a the monologue on top and all of these scenarios are really very interesting. So tell me about how did you formulate right. them? How did you film them? Well, um, I'm kind of, um, I'm, I may say, because I, I'm, I'm shy on camera. So with my cameras, there is always something I want to capture in front of me. So those images, there, is, there are images that I captured before, not knowing what to do with them. And then when the idea came, because the main the, the the girl in the film is also a filmmaker so we're working on a project and then the the, the idea came and i proposed her that she can be in my film and then she accepted and from there i i went into my 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 kind of visual archives of images i took and trying to try to you, how long have you were you shooting for before uh, I'm kind of, as I say, I'm kind of uh, uh, image kind of junkie. I'm always capturing images. So uh, unless I, I look through the films, I will know like there are five years images, there are two years images, but there are those images with the girls was at, in, at the time I thought I captured them at the time I thought of the, the, the film. 
Hello. Hi. Um, Hi. We seem to have lost one, Jerry. Oh, she's back. Hold on. Yes. Uh, sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. I don't oh, know no what worries. Happened. I was just holding for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. So you were answering that uh, you had these images long before the story came to be. Um, so maybe if you could kindly uh, tell me again. What's so um, I'm always I'm always capturing images either of my phone, either of a camera, and and then when an idea come, when that exact mm -hmm. idea came. I was like, I have this idea, and I proposed to the, the, the girl in the film, and she accepted. And from there, I, ta I, I started to get ideas of what I want. And I, I went into my uh, hard drive of images, and I tried to pick, to pick images. That made me feel like it has to be in that memory. And there I picked the images. And after, I proposed her if I can shoot some images with her with her doing the his, doing her uh, actual activities daily activities because she's a painter i propose that can capture a painting and then oh, all wow. other images so that's okay. how the film came to be so how old are, like this how deep is that archive like how long have you been shooting like the, how old is the material oh i think the images I, I may not be exact on the images in the film but the, i started that approach of always shooting from like 2016 but the images in the film is from like uh, 2017. Mm. Mm. Um, so you didn't shoot anything new at all aside from the persons uh i i didn't no, I did. I think I did. But those are the, the images that came. There is those images that came, like the first images that there is some photos and stuff. It was like I, I was going somewhere in the, some art uh, event and I saw that um, stairs and I, I went back and shot that. Thinking of the those first, thinking of those, those first voiceover of a uh, kind of traditional one and prayers mm. so yeah mm. oh, nice. and all of it yeah. is in Kigali or did you shoot in multiple places um, thinking about it i think all of it is uh, are in Kigali yeah. so it's really really wonderful like i remember one of the scenes mm, that was you. very striking was uh, the, the there's a gentleman seated on the ground and the light is red around him and it and there's like um almost like it looks like a noose around his neck but it's also the light like it's such interesting yeah. images like where, yeah, where, so, where did so, that come from so it's like i told you when that that exact image i shot it um when i was making the film we were in some kind of apero with some people and there is there was this right and i found it interesting and i told the guy he's also an actor i told him i want to take just put the right around your neck i want there is something beautiful with you with the yeah oh, and sure. i captured that yeah, okay yeah. Mm -hmm. and definitely it fits with the story but there's a lot of like distortion and editing and it rather it is you edited distortion into the images. Mm -hmm. There's a bit even like looks like the sky and the mm -hmm. sea, and it's like uh, in vast. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting stuff. So, were you already kind of playing and wanting to have your images displayed in that way, or did it kind of lend itself to the story? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, um, like what I think, came first, the uh, editing style or the idea? Because um, I think it depends on images those images i had before i put i put them i imported them into the whatever the software i use and i tried to prove them and i was if i was thinking how can my memory or my like visual kind of how can i present my memory visually can it be like no more images and stuff 
So, and I wanted that uh, hypnotic uh, feeling to, to those images. So I, I played those and I came up with, uh, yeah, what, what made me feel good at that time when I was doing that and what, 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 what I thought could fit of with the the, sto the the film I wanted to make. And it, it really works, honestly, it really does. I know this film was, was made in collaboration with various artists. So maybe you can talk to us about who you collaborated with to make this film. Uh, okay, yeah, we we have this uh, we have this kind of collective where we sit down every night and every time and talk about films and talk about our influences and how we can do something that fits us as persons and our personalities and so every time that I have an idea we discuss and I show them what I have they give me ideas they tell me how how they feel and we discuss about the, those and how it fits me and yeah that's how it comes and they help me if they have if maybe I need some images and someone may say okay I have these images images I captured could you look through them and see if there is something you can use and the uh, editor sound that in the, that collective we just share ideas and from there you you took ideas that can fit your your, your vision mm -hmm. yeah and so this collective is the 251 right the the, yeah. the, the, the sign club or the sign club i can never pronounce that word so maybe tell us about <laughs> yeah and like maybe the project that you've, you've I am. okay so the we had that we had we had that because we are always together so i think we we, we were somewhere i don't know where and with in in 2018 or 19 and we talked about we are always together we're making films and our films are somehow getting somewhere across the world and and when you get there some people say okay i saw i saw you on the credit of this film i saw you did this who are you and we said okay let us make a kind of a collective and then we ca we came up with the, the, that that 20 uh, uh 250 film experiment and after that we, we said okay we, we also love to watch movies so why don't we like from this collective initiate a cine club where we watch movies so this oh, then we watch movies together yeah yeah nice is this very typical of the yeah. rwandan film space because I'm not, I'm not very familiar with the rwandan space is it was it was your need very niche or like or was it because you were friends and you're kind of hanging out together or like does the space kind of need like, was there a need for the club that you were creating? No, uh, uh, no, no, really. Every, every, we invited people. <laughs> the, the peop we invite, we invite people who just want to, to watch movies, like indie kind of movies, and uh, discuss about them. And mm. yeah, 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 those, right, so, yeah, those films that mm. people don't don't watch mm. so often mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. so let's go back to your film and it's greek title and uh, mm -hmm. which which way they i really struggle to pronounce i, I feel like my film is struggling to pronounce things that i later to read <laughs> but yeah. because it's it's, a, it's, mm -hmm. it's actually the, the greek code for memory so why how did you come upon this title mm -hmm. why was this idea very interesting to you um, I think, um, <laughs> as, as I told you, the, the I met the film, I put the the, the main, the, the actress, the girl in the film, I put her because we were working together. When, most of the time when I'm, 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 I'm working on a film, all the ideas, there is all the ideas, all the ideas come, came, come from the, the things I'm interested in in at that exact time so i was reading about some mythology and stuff and and because i wanted to make something about memory and i i, I thought of that goddess of memory and 
fits with the the girl and stuff so i i just say okay they, 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 they me call it meno okay it's now i should have captured when you said that so i can say it again so now just saying the film title <laughs> meno msine the title is meno msine mm. But yeah, yeah, you said it. You, you said it. I don't need to say it because you've said it. <laughs> so, um, what else I also really like about the film is exactly that the, the female um, actor, the female character. It's interesting that she's actually a painter and that she produced the work. Was it, mm-hmm. like you said, you, you were together with her? Was it kind of like naturally leaning to her being a painter, or would that character have done any other thing? Or do you feel like painting was the, the outlet that made a sense for the character? I think I think because because maybe there is no there is no whatever biographical element in that film. But I think uh, putting her in the film came from the the discussions we had, the discussions we had, and and when I I I I, I told her about the film, she said, "Okay, is there anyone that you can put the the character in the film?" So I said, "No." And she, I proposed, could you be again the film? She said, of course, I can be. It. And she went from that. And it is if it that that kind of approach that I want to capture the memories and the people and whatever I'm with, I'm, I'm around the exact time that I'm making the film. Well, this is probably like an editing question or an also like an artistic question. But mm-hmm. in my feeling, whenever I see things that are to do with like with the past, they're always like in sepia tones or in black and white. But uh, the majority of the images are very vibrant colors. Was mm-hmm. that an artistic choice? Was that a deliberate choice for the character, the state of the mind of the character? Or like, it's a very strange question, but I wonder like if that was like a conscious decision. Uh, I, I think it, because, because, um, that was not the, my first film using that kind of uh, editing approach. So ah, I think okay. it came, yeah, it, it comes from that that uh, maybe the influences the people, the, the filmmaker that that I like. So uh, because I'm kind of interested in unconventional approach to to to, to films, and so uh, it is all those elements and the fact that. Uh, the fact that I love kind that I love video art and it has yes. to do with all those elements. So yeah, I think the the editing approach has to do with all those elements and the the, uh, the way I feel when I'm doing that. I'm I'm, I'm changing colors. I'm playing with images and at the time I feel okay. That is feels good. That feels like mm. the. The idea I have, I mm. I do the, the that there. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe you can talk about some of the instances that, that you mentioned there that you were, you could have done this before, but then it, maybe it's drawing from something else that you've seen that you like that you're kind of pulling into your work. So uh, <laughs> my influences, my influences. Uh, uh, I can say it comes from. Uh, it, it starts from maybe I may say uh, not Chris Maka to uh, John Makers to uh, the first film of uh, David Lynch to all those filmmakers that has mm-hmm. Terence Malick, all those filmmakers that has unconventional mm-hmm. approach to to cinema, kind of yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And and what does that give you that that like a uh, regular linear narrative does not like for what how can you in what ways are you able to play more or even like bring in different ideas like what does it give you that like the linear structure does not Oops, i think i think even if this 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 film this film is kind of visually it is it has those or images and uh, that are different but uh, in the voiceovers, there is there is this linear kind of story told through. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yes, for sure. Yes, yes. So, it all um, ties in well together for sure. So, so I am. Um, I think it's I because <laughs> because uh, sometimes people people ask me. Uh, sometimes I teach 
screenwriting and all those uh, rules and some people ask me to watch my films and i say no that is not a good example so it is <laughs> it is not so someone who is who is like uh, studying script writing and stuff and mm. how to approach cinema it is not good but um i think it comes i have wait wait that I wrote why here. wait no i think why? I, i disagree because wouldn't you be showing them that mm. there are so many ways to be a filmmaker i don't know i, I yeah, kind of like but, would be happy if i saw that you know starting out and like, yeah oh, and it's it's, a, it's an african filmmaker doing something different yeah i i i i, I i'm I show it to some individuals that maybe because mm. yeah you know people and how they will take things uh and I, I just want I, I just mm, I said mm, I said I I show it to some individuals in the the, the mm. some people I know they will not jump to imitate that exactly mm. that they will try to yeah but but I, I don't think for someone who is starting to, 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 to study screen writing and stuff would be better uh, yeah it would be confusing somehow I don't know I, okay wait I think we've kind of moved into like me arguing for you showing this style to uh, uh, young <laughs> yeah. filmmakers but my original question was to do with um, oh, Remy can you hear me you can you hear me okay so Um so my original question was uh, what has not having that kind of linear structure visually does for you that's, that's rather having this kind of experimental style what does it give you that the regular everyday three act structure blah 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 as okay. as sort of thing I think I what, should... what freedom does it give you versus the that typical I think it I am um... I think with when when can you hear me? for me the, you? yeah yeah yes hello hello yes i'm 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 getting here Remy, can you hear me? yes yes oh yeah yes. okay so So I um, I was saying that when hello I'm getting you very well Yes Oh super you're back okay sawa sawa mm-hmm. uh, did you get the question Yeah yeah I think um I think when when you had the question? um yeah yeah Okay so sorry because I lost you for a bit so please if you don't mind um so I um I think with uh th- that kind I think there will be always even if I go into kind of uh conventional way of approaching cinema there will always be uh that space I will keep for myself to to explore visually or narratively or so uh, um because it gives it gives me freedom and it gives me the uh, not to not to 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 say i will get this film at the end it gives me freedom to to discover the film at the end like as so, uh, so uh, i think I think it doesn't uh, that that's why I love those uh, that approach there will there will always be there will, there will always be that experimental approach to my films even if they won't be that 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 kind of uh visually uh that visual approach but yeah, yeah. well i mean you shot this stuff way i Yeah. but um mm-hmm. this pandemic I was, I was like watching it now in my pandemic mind i'm getting mm-hmm. into like visions of isolation and loneliness and all of that and i wonder like the, the new stuff that you're shooting now is it kind of in that line of things or what are you finding yourself shooting in this time like, is, is like the pandemic mm-hmm. situation kind of guiding <laughs> i feel like yeah yeah there. yeah i think mm-hmm. Yeah there is there is this uh, kind of essay doc fiction films 
that came from the lockdown so that um that is in post production so and after the after the 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 lockdowns there is other project that i'm working on so uh, as i said there is always this kind of trying to to capture uh, the memories of the time i'm living so there is always something i'm shooting so oh, wait, so even is in, that like a theme in your work trying to capture there, the memories is, is it like yeah. memory like a, a, a big theme in your work yeah memories is like, ah. yeah the main theme yeah yeah mm. oh wonderful wonderful i mean it, it's evident that um you're really quite good at it so yeah so keep keep, keep on that track so what what are these Thank projects you. that you are hinting at working on can you tell us a little bit so we can look forward to them yeah i just <laughs> i just finished the the, the word a short film a three minute short mm -hmm. film that i uh, i just like exported the first draft it is kind of there is also memories there is aging there is there mm -hmm. and um the the one i told you kind of a feature document essay kind of documentary it came from the something i was reading about uh, 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 about uh, uh, um, uh, a writer and feminist called uh, Simone de Beauvoir. So when I was reading that, I came up with Ooh. idea and I, inv I, uh, I invited women at our press and yeah. gave them interviews. And I'm trying to figure out what is the film, what we the film be. I am excited. I'm so sorry. I was I was I was stuck at Simone. Is that is that um the title is like the second sex or something like that? Yeah, the second, second set. The mm -hmm. Wonderful. The second, yeah. Okay, so now say it again because I was I was trying to remember the title. So if you don't mind, please tell us about the project so, okay, for my I, I said I was I was leading uh, second sex and then this idea came up with uh there is this quote of simone, simone de beauvoir uh say say saying like no one is is not no one is born a woman but rather become no one is not born but rather become a woman and then from that point of view i interviewed different women and now i'm trying to figure out what will be the film oh sorry Remy, can you hear me yeah Oh, I, I'm sorry. The connection was bad. No one is, no one is born a woman. No, the, 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 there is this quote of Simone de Beauvoir, saying, "Said like no one, no one, uh, no one is born. No one is born, but rather becomes a woman." Okay, the fact that you've interviewed this woman based on Simone's book, I know it's going to be really, really yeah. amazing. So we're almost wrapping up. Can you believe we've been talking for almost 30 minutes? Crazy. Okay, I can well, know yeah. through the bad mm, connection yeah, of okay. noise and my neighbors just wanted to be famous. Um, mm -hmm. Really grateful for your time. And maybe mm -hmm. as, as, a, as a parting shot, um, maybe what did you say is, is the future for you? What do you hope to do? What do you hope to accomplish with your work? Now that I'm, I'm really excited that you're you're working on memory as a as a theme across your work, what do you um, look forward to in your work? What's down the road for you? Uh, I think there'll be uh, on my road there'll be many experimental kind of films and there'll be uh, those the films feature films and other films that will be like. Oh, really? uh, you're getting me now. Sorry, would you mind answering that again? The connection was bad for a bit. I said uh, on uh, on my road to uh, like my future will be like there will be many experimental films, short films, and video art and other whatever that will come in my mind uh, along the way, and um, there will always be memories, death, and life, and those kind of themes and and everything that will interest me along the way i will try to figure out how to to, to present my interest visually yeah ah, wonderful we're looking forward to that what about the collective what can we expect from them yeah the collective we're making different projects so expect many projects from the, that 
collective and yeah, you already had one you already had one filmmaker from the collective and there is like another one in this program so there'll be other oh, film, so there'll be other maybe, project from the if you don't mind maybe can you say like where people can find you now the collective and can find you if it's a website or a, a, a facebook twitter yeah. instagram page I think um, our our my production company called Kiruri. Just type in kiruri.mfn.com and yeah, Instagram. Uh, uh, do you mind spelling that? Kiru out? K I R U R I M F N dot com. Okay. You know what we'll do? We'll just put it in the in the description. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're back. <laughs> this connection is so strange. Okay. You are saying the, the website, how people can find you. But then I was thinking the what, what, what the, yeah, so what we'll chart. do, we'll put it in the description box so guys can oh yes, you can put on it. K-R-U-I-I-I. MFN.com. That's where you can find. Uh, I think that's your production company. And I think mm -hmm. you can basically find everything about you there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Incredible. I'm very, very generous yeah. about your work. Uh, memory is mm, very exciting you. to me, especially. And thank you for having uh, make your feed available to us. Um, so, this has been me, your host, Wangeri, live and direct from the SDR train station. Thank you for persevering mm. through everything, for our connection. And our yeah, thank you, energy. thank you, and thank you to, to Manyata uh, Screening for the great initiative.